In question 7, we're told that Eloy's height is 125 when he's 7 and 153 centimetres when he's 12 and they want us to work out the percentage increase. Now to work out the percentage increase, you have to take, well firstly you have to work out what he has gone from and to. So he's gone from 125 and he's gone to 153. Now that's an increase of 28 centimetres. The percentage increase we obviously work out based on his starting height because we're trying to see how much he's increased from his original as a percentage. So we do 28 over 125 and then you multiply that by 100 to give your answer as a percentage. So 28 over 125 times by 100 as a percentage so that gives us 22.4%. Now, we're told that Eli's height at the age of 12 is was 85% of his height at the age of 20. And we're asked to work out, therefore, what was his height when he was 20. So, his height when he was 12 was 153. So, 153 is the equivalent to 85% because it's 85% of his height at 20. So what we need to know is what was this part of the equation when this side says 100% because that's his height when he's 20. So what you do, and this is a, a little method that I've called the box method and I've only called it that because it's in a box. Now what you do in a situation like this when you have three knowns and you're trying to work out one unknown, you think in your head what the answer should be. Should it be higher or lower? Well it should be higher, therefore you take the higher of the two numbers you have, divide it by the lower of the two numbers and you multiply it by the remaining number. And if we do that, that gives us 180. So that means that his height when he's 20 is 180 centimetres. And of course, we can check to see if we're right by doing 153, his height when he was 12, divided by 180. And that gives us 0.5. Eight, five, which when we multiply by 100 gives 85% which is exactly what we knew up here so that we can just quickly check if our answer is actually right.